Thank you for watching, and remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your support. We get it. <laughs> it's brutal. Um, I don't want brutal. Uh, yeah, no one wants brutal, right? Hey, stick around. Not nearly as brutal on the other side. Let's be honest brutal. here. Nonstop for months. Yeah, it's been a tough go across the state of California. Meanwhile, in the east, we're talking about flash flooding. Waters are rising. Would you? In I think I would. Once in a lifetime opportunity. I guess so. It would be a once in a lifetime opportunity that I'd be like, absolutely not. <laughs> I don't even, I wouldn't even let it get past me. I'd be like, no. I know, listen, I know you're a nervous flyer. I could not imagine you going to space. I wouldn't even like, wish that upon other people in the rocket <laughs> with me. It would just be an all, you know, uh, uh, Dr. Sutter says it's brutal. So you haven't even imagined being in a spaceship with me. I cannot imagine the amount of sweat oh, that would God. roll off your body. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's not meant to be, but you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cheer from everybody right here on ground. Uh, let's get you caught up on what's going on in the weather coming in time for the morning drive. So again, you may actually be slowed down. Not everybody gets it through the morning commute, but certainly the opportunity is there that your morning drive could feature rain. Maybe set that alarm just a few minutes early just so you're not in a rush in the rain. Right? Yeah, sure. And the fatigue that comes from kind of just being surrounded by your own garbage or the stuff that you've had to throw out and then it gets rained on. It's hot, it's uncomfortable, and it smells. Uh, we look at the rain that's still coming down across some parts of Louisiana, although the good news is most of this heavier rain associated with tropical depression, Nicholas, has moved over into parts of Alabama and Florida. With that said, causing flooding problems there. We We've got a flash flood warning that remains in effect for Baldwin and Escambia counties here. Here we've got observed flooding across the southeastern part of the state of Alabama, getting into extreme western Florida, Escambia County again under that flash flood warning. In addition to uh, the heavy rain that's moved through, they've actually observed flash flooding across the area. That heavy rain is moving east, so I-10 corridor not going to be an easy go this evening across the Florida panhandle. If you do need to travel that route, be prepared for it to slow down and for for it to be very tough to see. These are tropical downpours. They can make it absolutely miserable out there on those highways. Flash flood watches are in effect closer to the Gulf Coast where that heavy rain will be focused, but it's not just those areas getting in on some heavy downpours. No, we've seen some of that into the Midlands of South Carolina, Columbia over to Augusta, even into parts of Georgia, some heavy downpours embedded in an overall zone of at least light to moderate rain. Uh, Torcon values today, they're at a two, so an isolated tornado risk will certainly be in play with, of course, our tropical depression, but flash flooding would be my main concern rather than the tornado risk. But be prepared to move should that tornado warning come in for your area. As we get into the late evening and overnight, you can see a lot of areas across the southeast continue to get rain with the heaviest focused into parts of the Florida panhandle. Mike miles an hour, and as we mentioned, a lot of that wet weather now focused well to the east, parts of southern Alabama, parts of the state of Florida getting in on some of the heaviest of rain, and those are areas where we've also been dealing with the flash flood warning. So we look at around Pensacola and to the west, Baldwin and Escambia counties here under flash flood warnings. Even though the rain has stopped, it's going to take a moment for that water to go down. And other areas could be looking at some issues as that heavy rain that prompted those flash flood warnings continues to roll east. I-10 going to be a tough ride out there tonight. We've got torrential tropical downpours. Makes it very tough to see. Some of those downpours across the state of Georgia into South Carolina as well. But the greatest risk of the flash flooding focused along the Gulf Coast as we move forward. So that's where our flash flood watches remain in effect. Here's Columbia, South Carolina. Now at this point, you've got some of that moderate rain. Looks like we got a flash flood uh, warning. Very, very small there right around Columbia, though. Torcon values today, they're on the low end, Mike. We've got a 2 out of 10. Don't want to discount the threat, but I think uh, flash flooding is going to be the real concern here.